In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of an egg. Change the view from perspective to orthographic. Change the view to the front view. Press X to delete the cube. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down, tick background images, click the black triangle to open up the panel, click add image, scroll down, click open. Go to the folder where you have your egg image. You can download my image from my website. You can use any egg image. And as it's only a guide, you can complete the tutorial without using any image at all. Scroll down, drag to make the properties panel wider, set the rotation to 90 and the opacity to 0.2 so that we can see the grid lines more clearly. Add curve circle, press R to rotate X for the X axis, 90 and enter. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Scroll down. Drag on the size field to alter the size of the background image. I used a value of four. Fine tune the X position. I used a value of 0.06 and the Y position of the background image minus 0 0.04 and rotation of 92 degrees. Go into edit mode, scroll up and in the curve display panel untick normals. Select the right control point, press X to delete and click vertices. Select the left control point, press X to delete and click vertices. Turn snap to grid on. Select a handle. In the curve menu, snap, notice shortcut key is shift S. Selection to grid. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow so that the handles are horizontal. Drag on the tip of the red arrow so that the handle is nine small squares to the right of center. Select the other handle, hold down shift and press S. Snap selection to grid. Drag on the tip of the red arrow so that the handle is nine small squares to the left of center. Select one of the bottom handles, shift and S, snap selection to grid. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to make the handles horizontal. Drag on the tip of the red arrow to move the handle 12 small squares to the right of center. Select the other handle, shift and S, snap selection to grid. Drag on the tip of the red arrow to move the handle 12 small squares to the left of center. Untick background images. Drag to close the properties panel. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the curve properties. To make the egg, I'm going to convert the curve to mesh and use the spin tool. If we look at the profile, it's not very smooth. We can see the curve is made up of straight lines, 12 each side, and this is set by the preview resolution. There will be 12 vertices each side when we convert to mesh. For a smoother curve, I'm going to double the resolution to 24. To convert to mesh, go into object mode in the object menu, find convert to mesh. Go back to edit mode. To spin the profile, change the view to the top view. The vertices are spun around the 3D cursor to make sure it's in the center, 
Shift and S for the snap menu, cursor to center. All the vertices must be selected. Press A to select all. Scroll down. Click spin. Set the angle to 180. Again in the profile we can see straight lines. For a smoother model I'm going to double the number of steps to 18. Press A twice to select all. Click remove doubles. In the mesh menu normals recalculate outside. Change the view to the front view. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Make the new window a UV image editor window. Click open. Go to the folder where you have your egg texture. Select the file, click open image. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. In the mesh menu, UV Unwrap, Sphere Projection, change shading to texture, dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view we can see the pattern is too large, with the cursor in the UV image editing window press A to select all, S to scale, 6 and enter, change the shading to material and the texture disappears. This is because we haven't set up the material. Click the material button, click the new material button. We have to link a texture to the material, click the texture button, click the new button. Make sure the type is image or movie, click both. Click the browse image button, select the egg texture, scroll down, Make sure that the coordinates are UV and it's always a good idea to pack the image into the Blender file. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editing window. Go into object mode and change shading to smooth. That's the end of the tutorial. You can download the finished model, the egg image and the texture image files from my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.